Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me once again. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. First of all, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. We did for sure. I had a bad cold. Maybe you hear it still, but it was the first time Christmas celebration with us three. And Tycho, he looked also so, so cute. And it was precious to see all our family all together. Today is the last day I will be in the studio before the end of this year. And I was thinking, let's end this year with a bang, with the biggest Dutch pour I've ever created. And I, <laughs> I was working so hard on the Miracle Life projects and worked on these huge canvases. Now I'm looking at all the smaller canvases and I find them so, so tiny. So yeah, it's time to work on a huge Dutch pour. I will be using a color palette that I know that works. I'm not going to test out something here. Uh, it will be a Prussian blue base with metallics, pearl colors and some phthalo green. I love ocean styles as well, and I think it will be perfect for such a huge canvas. So let's end this year with a bang, and I'll see you in the new year. All right, guys, so this is a huge canvas. It's 70 by 100 centimeters, and I mixed so much Prussian blue. <laughs> it's about a liter or something. And uh, my uh, triptych that I did with the Prussian blue and the pearl colors was such a hit. And I had all these colors ready, mixed. So I want to do a sort of side design on this canvas. I've never used on such a huge canvas for a Dutch pour. And I put it on a spinning table so I can get close to the parts where I'm blowing and working on instead of moving around. So let's start adding some color to the base. I will be just spreading it out. And I already painted the canvas as well, Prussian blue. This is so easy to just uh, <laughs> spin it around but i don't want to spin out the design or at least i think so the studio and the ground is not prepped for that as well so hope that won't be needed i'm just putting down a fairly thin layer of prussian blue because where i want to blow it out i will pour more of the base color around it and I get a lot of questions about if it dries flat. Well, yeah, it does. How much paint I have, it doesn't matter. It always dries flat and that's because the paint is fairly thin and it just sinks. So the base of the Prussian blue is very thin and I'm doing that because I'm imagining a lot of negative space and it's the first time I'm using such big canvas and I don't want to waste um, putting too much color on the on the base and then later scrape it. So let's keep it like this and work on some parts. So I was thinking about a side design like this. And I have, of course, my pearl colors and my metallic colors. In my last video of the triptych with the pearl and the metallics, I explained the pearl colors. So if you're interested in that, then go check it out because the pearl colors, they work on a dark base. And these are all Amsterdam colors except for the gold. That's a Vallejo color. Lately, I have kind of trouble with a line design for the Dutch pour, but I think I will, uh, I will use a line design for this one and see how that will work out. So this is a pearl green and uh, let's add some phthalo green just a little bit. Some pearl blue, I've never used a pearl blue so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, let's go with gold and a silver. And 
let's see what this will become. So I will be pouring some Prussian blue against the sides so I can let it flow. Like I said, the base is very thin, so I won't be able to blow it out right now. Alright, so I need some more Prussian, Prussian blue around the colors, I already see that. And also the blow dryer just gave a super weird sound, so I don't know how long this blow dryer will hold. And I of course blew the, the base color over these colors, but I think it's even more important to do that with the pro color so they really mix. I will start here to see what look it will give. <laughs> the pearl blue is creating a sort of violet color. That's awesome. This part, it's gorgeous. And here I'm loving, <laughs> I'm just loving the lacing of the, of the pearl blue. And I think this part of composition is beautiful, but then we're definitely missing here something. And there can be more details in this part. So I probably will torch it. Yeah, I will torch just a little part in the middle. There's so much cells here. All right, so I think that's super pretty up there. But of course, we're missing something on the other end. But let's turn this. All right. All right, so I will be creating here a part two, because that's definitely needed. Yeah, I will go the same way with the colors. Let's go with the uh, pearl green first. And some phthalo green. And you know, if this part doesn't work out, that's okay. Then I can scrape just this little part and work on it again. So I'm so happy that part worked out. Let's blow this out right away. Big part of color there. I don't know if I'm really liking that, but I don't know. I do kind of like this blowout in here as well. This part is too white, but maybe if I torch that, 
No. Not a lot of things are happening, but <laughs> then again, this part is gorgeous. Yeah, this is, is too green, <laughs> but this is great. I loved working on such a big piece. Maybe if I torch here, that some Prussian blue will pop. Yeah, just a little bit. It's so big. I think I will leave it. I will just leave it like this. Yeah, I will bring you up for a close up <laughs> and I will let this dry. Just, whoa, look at this. It's so big, so beautiful, so vibrant. I am so happy how this turned out. I really mixed a lot more paint because I thought I would need to tweak or scrape. Well, it didn't happen. I was really in the flow and it turned out amazing. Let's go to the close-ups. I'll see you in the next year. Happy New Year. Biggest Dutch pour check. Last painting I've created of the year. And I think it's one of my best. See that's silver, I guess. So much details in this piece, really. Because if you look from different angles and different lights, you really see those pearl colors shine. It's amazing. And of course, the Prussian blue that dries super dark. But this is so cool. I love the composition as well. Let me know guys, really, let me know. I would love to hear your opinion about this piece because I am loving it. Happy New Year and I'll see you then.